What's up ADL fans, Daniel Cohen here with this week's Cohen's Cut. Today we're going to be looking at a Los Angeles Aviators set play and how it creates an open huck opportunity for the offense. So in this clip from the 2019 West Division Championship game, the Aviators get ready to initiate their offense from their own side of the field. The San Diego Growlers come out in a defense designed to take away immediate deep looks as they set up on Aviators handler Aaron Weaver. So first we have Growlers defender Sam Fontaine setting a straight up mark on Weaver, rather than a typical mark that you might see set up at an angle to force the disc to a given side. By standing directly in front of the disc, Fontaine is prioritizing stopping downfield looks by taking away a greater throwing area in front of the handler. Paired with this mark is a Nate Bridges handler poach, where he's leaving the second handler open to take away a downfield throwing lane. So with the two handler defenders positioned as they are, Weaver's downfield options are extremely limited. Now recognizing this are the two critical pieces of this offensive set. You have the second handler, Tim Beatty, and the initiating cutter, Tyler Bacon. Watch Beatty make a move to cut behind the disc to the open side, away from the handler poach. As he jogs across the field, watch as Tyler Bacon downfield runs parallel to Beatty. Here, Bacon is anticipating the disc to get dumped off, so what he's doing is he's setting up his cut to time it up with that initial reset. This anticipation pays off, as Bacon is off running just before Weaver dumps the disc to Beatty. With Bridges poaching the throwing lane and Fontaine marking Weaver, Beatty is given an unmarked throw on the far side of the field. So with the defenders no longer in position to prevent the huck, Beatty launches a backhand deep out to space, where Bacon is able to easily run onto it for the score. The goal is a result of using that second handler to change the offense's angle of attack and get defenders out of position, and then having a well-timed downfield cut to take full advantage of an unmarked throw. Thanks for watching, hope you'll join me next time for another Cohen's Cut.